Welcome back to Homeschooling Through High School. My name is CJ and I am a part of a collab today that Ashley from Gathered and Grounded has invited me to. Thank you so much, Ashley. If you have not checked out her channel, be sure to do so. She is sweet, she is to the point, and she shares her heart authentically and I love that about her. There are a whole bunch of homeschool moms on this collab that will be sharing traditions during this Thanksgiving time um, in their homeschool and in their life. So be sure to check that out in the playlist linked below. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the traditions that we do here in our um, home for Thanksgiving. And the first thing is this lovely dress. This dress was made by my mother-in-law. Um, as you can see, this is my mother-in-law here. We're actually doing after Thanksgiving shopping in this picture, but she made this sunflower dress. I cannot get enough of sunflowers. I love them so much. They make me absolutely happy. And um, I've had this dress for a few years now. I'd like to say about five years. And it's just one of my absolute favorites. It's perfect for this time of year with the colors and everything. And it's just something that I, I wear during this time. So thank you, mom, for this dress. I appreciate it so much. The next thing, speaking of my mother-in-law, um, my husband is from Alaska and my family is Jamaican. And during the holidays, we combine our cultures together with food. So our Thanksgiving table is a feast and a half, let me tell you. I did not traditionally grow up eating Thanksgiving turkey um, and such, but we always had plenty, and I mean plenty, of other Jamaican food. So for example, jerk chicken, rice and peas, plantain, we would have um, rum cake and Caribbean punch and um, brown stew chicken and all of these great things. And then on my husband's side, we had a lot of seafood or we do have a lot of seafood. So king crab salad, oh wow, it's so, so good. And um, king salmon um, and other types of salmon cooked different ways, um, smoked salmon dip, just absolutely lovely. So. I'm just so thankful that we can combine our cultures and share it with our kiddos and our family and our friends. We do this type of combination of foods for most of the holidays. So Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter, one of our favorite traditions here. So during this time of year, we sing a lot of hymns of Thanksgiving. And this hymn book, it actually has it broken down um, in themes and it says Thanksgiving. So some of the songs that we sing are songs like, come ye thankful people come. We are so blessed, that's in this particular hymn book. Um, Count your many blessings, name them one by one. Do you know that? Him, because that one is, uh, I feel kind of lost, not one of the more popular hymns maybe. So if you do, could you let me know in the comments? But we just love going through and singing these hymns of thanksgiving for the beauty of the earth. Um, praise God from whom all blessings flow. I grew up on hymns in my little Jamaican church. We would have some hymns that we sang without music and then the other hymns we would put a reggae beat to it. It was really, really, really cool. And so that's something else that we do during this month of November. Last but not least, we actually start this last tradition in October. So during the month of October, we choose a weekend or a weekday and we go to the pumpkin patch and we choose a pumpkin. And so we display it around the house and that sort of thing. Some years we carve it, some years we don't, but we do display it um, and we paint it and that sort of thing. This year we actually made um, pumpkin slime about a week ago. I posted a video about that. You should go check that out. But in November for Thanksgiving, I take that pumpkin and it has to be the pie pumpkin, all right, or the sugar pumpkin, sometimes they call it. And I take that and I make pumpkin mac and cheese. It is divine, let me tell you. And it is just a tradition that, um, I probably started this about 10 years ago and it is a hit. First of all, it just looks lovely on the Thanksgiving table. It's so, 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 so beautiful. And it takes a while, it does take a while because you have to cook the pumpkin partially first. Um, you know, you gut it and then you cook it and that sort of thing. And believe it or not, 
it's not a pumpkin flavored mac and cheese. There's a little infusion in there, but with all of your seasonings and spices that you normally put in your mac and cheese, if you do, I know growing up, um, I have a lot of Jamaican spices that I now incorporate into my mac and cheese. And so it's, it's very, very savory. And you dump that into the pumpkin, you bake it, and it is divine. If you'd like to see a demonstration on how that's done, please let me know. I can create a video for you in the next few weeks. But that is our last main tradition that we do is pumpkin mac and cheese, a treat for um, everybody. Uh, and like I said, it's very, very beautiful on the dining room table. We also do poems during this time. We find a poem that they memorized together. Last year, it was Paul Revere's Ride. And so that was pretty fun. And this year, we're going to be choosing something out of here. And then they do it in front of all the family members, uh, as well as their Faces of History project. So that is one thing. The other thing that I wanted to add was that we also make pumpkin chili and we, we also make roasted butternut squash and sausage in the oven. It's quick for breakfast, it's great for lunch, it's excellent for dinner, and it's two of the warm and fuzzy items that we do this time of the year. So be sure to check out the playlist below. And once again, Ashley, thank you for having me on this collab. We'll see you next time, everybody.